Hi, this is Brickzar. We're going to do a vintage Lego set review. We're going to look at set 675 snack bar. This set is from 1979. And it has about 56 pieces, two minifigures, and a couple of unique elements to this set. But it's a very simple, classic town set. So we're going to take a closer look at what you get with this 1979 set. And first we'll look at our minifigures. We have the dude with the brown hair and the black vest and blue shirt, black pants. Very simple pattern, but he's got his 70s style. And it's interesting that the hair is slightly different than what you see on the instructions. I don't know if it's the angle or the lighting on the instructions makes it look a little different, but um, this is the right hair. And then we have our chef with his chef hat and chef shirt and gray pants. And all these figures don't have any printing on the back. That's the two figures you get. All right, we'll take a look at the back of the snack shack where the shift has his cash register, which all it is is a two by two slope piece. And you got your yellow round bricks for your ketchup and mustard. There's two sets of that. So that's all there is to that. It's got a red door here on the side. And here's the front of it. With the, uh, you got some more ketchup and mustard. You got two red cups and you got this two by two tile, which represents some kind of food item, apparently, or a tray. I don't know. And you got your ice cream sickle one by two bricks. Those are in about four different sets. The snack bar one by six is only in this set. And then you also get a vintage tree and the snack bar sign pointing to the snack bar, in case you don't know where it is. And that's all there is to that set, just 56 pieces, just a really little set. Um, and does have two parts that are unique to this set, the snack bar signs. So if you want those signs, you can only either buy them by the part from somebody on BrickLink or get them in this actual set. I do not have the box, but I do have the instructions. And here's our instructions. And it shows here a picture of your late 70s setup. I remember when I was a kid, I always dreamed of having my Lego town set up much like this with the road plates and the different uh, sets, making a little town. And here's the instructions. And you can see here, 1979 Lego systems. And there's instructions are a little hard to follow right here with the where the cash register is it took me a while but those are you got the one by one bricks and then you put a one by four plate across those bricks it was hard to tell what was going on there but um, I finally figured it out and that's your instructions just to fold out instructions I I like these vintage sets, and this is a real simple one, not expensive one to find even now, 34 years later. Um, and if you've been watching my hauls, you know I just bought the pieces for the sets and the instructions and just got the rest of the bricks from my vintage brick collection. Uh, the, the tile, I mean the, uh, not tiles, the, um, these are solid stud one by one round bricks they don't make those anymore with the solid stud so those are uh, the vintage parts and the plate is it's not terribly common but it, it, I mean it's not rare the, the base plate there which is 8 by 16 I think so anyway uh, overall I, I like this set I like the uh, simplicity of it but it still has some unique elements which I like but, um, you know, I know it's not as detailed as some of the sets you see today. But it was good for the time, 1979. So anyway, thanks for watching my review of the set Snack Bar. 675 is the set number. And please comment, like, and subscribe.
Thanks for watching Brickstar. Thank you.